coach in, in a game where you play extremely well. It obviously speaks to what the Warriors are. But in all in all, you still want to win that game. So yeah. what was it that you just couldn't get over to get? Yeah, well, they're an elite basketball team. Um, it's, it's interesting seeing it on the other side. Uh, every time you have a chance, and if you make a mistake, they just uh, they don't really know how to capitalize uh, on a lot of that. Uh, our, our guys really played hard, competed, um, you know, did enough to, to give ourselves a chance. We couldn't get over that hump to make it a possession game uh, at the end. And, um, you know, they, 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 they challenge you. They certainly challenge you. You have, you have to uh, be there from a competitive standpoint, but also from a focus communication standpoint uh, on every single possession, getting out past your comfort zone, past the three-point line, um, all of those things. And um, they shook free on some some easy ones in the fourth quarter that uh, allowed them to get to that ten-point, uh, you know, double-digit uh, distance. You, you talk about racing the competition all yeah. the time. You guys did that today. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, our guys are competitive guys. Um, you know, we, we don't feel good about this. Uh, um, but you're going against a great team. Uh, you've got to put it all together to be able to win on their, their court. You have to be able to compete at a high level. You have to do it with great focus, uh, great connection, um, and follow through uh, in a lot of those areas. But the, the number one thing coming into a game uh, with, a, with a team like this is, yes, you have to have a competitive disposition. Absolutely, uh, where there's you know, a fearlessness, um, because the the harder you play, the, that can also lead to uh, some greater oohs and ahs if you if you make a mistake, and um, you can't be afraid of that. Despite the fact that you ended the W, how critical was it that Tyler and Dwayne fought through what they were dealing with physically to be there for it? Yeah, I mean, I hope they feel uh, you know fine tomorrow, but they. They both were able to, f to finish the game, and, and both had great moments of uh, aggressiveness. Uh, you know, we're clearly we're a different team uh, when those guys are uh, able to be who they are. Eric, Go ahead. just Chris and Dwayne in the first half give you 25 points, and third quarter didn't score. What were they doing defensively to maybe take them out a little bit? Uh, yeah, they went to uh, you know their. Uh, Different matchups, which forced us, uh, which we anticipated they would do probably earlier. They didn't get to it earlier, but they went to the uh, their—I won't call it by their nickname—but their their speed lineup in the in the second quarter, and then in the in the third quarter they changed some matchups, which forced us to uh, to tweak a little bit of our execution, which we were able to do. Um, but right out of the gate, they just they just ran uh, for some easy ones uh, at the beginning of the third quarter. And if you argue a, a call, a fall down. Um, if it's a number situation, they have a they have a way of making you pay for for one of those uh, mistakes. Eric, it's still with some of your better ball this season. Are there things that you can take out of this game against this speed team and what they do and say if we do X, Y, and Z like we did tonight against other teams, it could be a step forward also. Well, every single competition you have a, an opportunity to grow as a team. Uh, certainly, some of the things I did like were was our disposition and uh, holding each other accountable. Guys were getting after each other in the huddles, um, uh, much better than we did in the Utah game. Um, so I don't know if we got. I, I don't think we got better after the Utah uh, one, um, but there were some certainly some positives. Uh, uh, today and then uh, you know this train never stops so uh, we're trying to get out of here um, we'll get ready rest up and, and get ready for another big one uh, on Wednesday you know, just how good are the Warriors though given their record I mean 36 and 2 I mean are they as, as good as any team that's ever played or uh, look, the championship last year and the record <laughs> after a championship that speaks for itself you feel it's a winning performance defensively for you guys overall uh you know, I don't know um, I really liked our disposition. Our, our competitiveness was there. Uh, they uh, they throw a lot at you. Um, and again, if you uh, if you uh, aren't able to communicate, um, you know, perfectly or uh, uh, any kind of um, of laps and, and, and focus, they'll make you pay for it. And that, that's what elite teams uh, do. Um, but the yeah, I have no problem with the, the, the disposition that we brought to this game. Coach, you mentioned the matchup in the third quarter. They had Bogut guarding yeah. Justice Winslow. What can you do to combat that sort of strategy? 
Well, uh, we tried to put the ball in uh, Justice's hands, and, and we can run offense through him. Very similar to what we do with uh, CB. Um, he's very skilled, and um, you know we've we've already seen these type of coverages before. They're unique, though. I mean, with their personnel, they have guys that can guard multiple positions everywhere you look on the court. Coach, just as Winslow got his first start tonight, obviously it was injury-related, but what, did, what have you seen from this season to be able to get the start, and then what did you see from him tonight? Uh, just watch our games. We're usually doing well when he's in the game. I don't overthink it you know, from that standpoint. He's a competitor. He's a two-way player. He just happens to make find a way to make winning plays. A lot of them don't show up in a box score. Your thoughts on Hassan for Wednesday? Did he look close enough that with a, a, a game off and a day off? Or, yeah, I don't know. Or is it any more serious than no. it was going back to last week? No, it's just you know those things need rehab and rest. Uh, but he's been around the clock, so it was actually a great day. One of the last two days, a lot of treatment. Was he close to playing? Because you seemed this morning like you didn't, you weren't expecting. Nah, that wasn't. Uh, well, we definitely uh, weren't waiting for him uh, to play. I mean, the, the best decision was for him to take a treatment and try to take care of it. Okay.